All right, we got a real quick break here. Looks like Jeff is lining up here to get started. We'll be back commentating in a minute. Please let me know. Uh, it looks like we fixed some of the internet. So um, if that's still freezing, please let me know here as we, as we go along. I'm going to go grab me some water, and I'll be right back. Okay, there was a line there to get me some water. We're doing good now. <clears throat> so I have to check. I want to make sure. I guess they're in the first rack. It looks like um, the ladies' masters have started. Um, are they still warming up? They might still be warming up, but I think they started. We can... Uh, we might split the screen here so we can get the ladies' masters and men's masters on there. We'll work with the technical side over there in a minute. So 
So Jeff's stripes here. I'm, I'm assuming this is the first game I wasn't gone that long. Can't tell if that's the 10 or the, I guess it's a 10. Sitting here in front of me, looks like he's gonna run the 13 down. Good breakout. <laughs> Nicely done there. Put this one here in the side. I would think to try to come up rail and get a shot on the nine. Oh, he's stuck. I didn't think he could get all the way through there. Good run out there for Jeff. <laughs> All right, Brett to get a break here. Hey everybody let me know how that uh how the internet and buff buffering's doing. When I checked it here, it looks like we got all that fixed. I don't have any uh, conflicts or anything going on. Bubba Hogs right. back, but uh, Jeff just did a run out there. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't a breaking run. He got a turn, so. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. So. So we restarted the stream and everything. Everything looks in, looking good? Yeah, all the numbers are back to where they should be. There. All right, I can get this. Not getting the conflicts like we were. Get everything shared out here again. Hey, I wish somebody would have said something earlier. Over here, I'm just. That's normally what I keep track of, you know what I mean? But since I'm over here talking, I can't keep track of both sides. Man. Actually, I don't think I have to reshare it because I think I'll still reshare it just in case. Because it's showing that it's still active from the original. It shouldn't be. Huh? It shouldn't be active from the original one. Still showing everything, all the original comments and everything from the same stream. Huh. But well, we'll still do it. We'll get it sent out there to some groups. Do you have friends? I don't necessarily have friends, but I have people that I can talk to. Oh, okay. I don't know Mr. Jeff at all, but he's... Uh very proficient with the stick here. You got it shared out to about eight or nine different groups.
Seems like he doesn't do too much fancy stuff with the cue ball, does he? No. no just he makes just, the ball and gets shape. Yeah, he just uh, just hits what he needs to hit and puts him in. And yeah, not very much ball movement, very good control, and looks like he's uh, walking right around the right yeah. around there. Going to make uh, two to nothing for yep. Mr. Jeff. Yeah, and Brett, Brett had a good break on that last one. He just had an unfortunate kiss. It hit the long rail, short rail, and then went into the, the uh, side, into the, the top there. So I take it that did he break from the side? No, he broke. He broke good, and then he, his next shot, it went. It didn't go where he oh, wanted it to go. Oh, not yeah, yeah. he didn't scratch off the break. No, he did not scratch. Okay, off the okay, break. okay. I was gonna say sometimes when you break from the side, yeah. So when you break closer to the second diamond from either side, shooting into the second ball. Either side, um, you run the chance if you sh if you put a lot at bottom, you'll come into the side rail or into the long rail, then back over. You, you no, he had a great break. It it's, it broke out real well. It just uh, gotcha. It was a second shot that he. Uh, so like if if Brett's got a good enough break here, what what you want to do is you want to hit second ball, go into the long rail, and then back into the pack. Something similar to that, but usually it's not jumping over everything. <laughs> So I believe Michelle is playing her match <coughs> on that back table. Okay, we can split screen if they want. Uh, everybody in the chat shows we got 41 people across all well, of our platforms, that's right? That's not all of them. Yeah, no? No. This thing, for some reason, this doesn't add up all the platforms for some reason. Gotcha. Uh, but, yeah, if anybody in the chat, if you guys can let us know, uh, we got the women's finals right now going on. Uh, Is that, on that the finals back. finals? I believe so because Michelle's shooting. I don't think she's getting ready. That's what I couldn't But tell. it doesn't make any sense because we're, we're talking like three or four matches that they were backed up. Right, but, but I don't see I don't see anybody around her. There's the other lady in the uh, – uh, But Carol – Carol is playing – Tina on 36. But are they playing for fun or are they playing? Uh, no, they're they're actually in a match. Okay. So the winner, I believe the winner of that match will play Michelle. If we can get. All right, we're working on getting the split screen set through here. There we go. <laughs> so we got Carol and Tina, both familiar faces for uh, any of the local or actually not local, I should say, any of the state tournament players, especially in the Masters. Both very familiar faces. Been here a time or two, we'll say. Yeah, we asked him. Well, I'm talking to the mic, talking to Juan. <laughs> I know it's tough to see on your phone unless you turn it sideways, but if you're at home, you're sitting pretty. Uh, YouTube, yeah, your YouTube. It YouTube, is yep. yeah. It, I like to split screen when we do it on the darts and in pool. You yeah. get to see. Uh, well, we get to bring you more, and then we can actually bring in the other two tables when we do teams. Yep. And uh, everybody gets to see, you know, their favorite player, their family member, whatever. So yeah, Carol shooting at the on her last stripe up there on the left screen. Uh, she might have came up a little short, but it's did she hard tap to a tell. bank. I couldn't tell what she. Oh, well, she did. She she, she no, no. She motioned for the for the corner pocket up top. Oh, so she might have to masse around it, but 
I believe she's good. She just has to watch out. Perfect. What am I talking about? Mass yeah. ain't nothing. All right, it's going to be Tina. Uh, Tina to break. As long as our as long as our info that we're getting from CompuSport is correct, uh, Carol is up two to nothing against Tina. And I believe that uh, the women's Masters is also a race to three. I don't think there's a, a drop in games or anything like that either. So. Got Tina to break on the left screen. And Jeff is down here. Yep. Surgically uh, trying to figure out what his next move is. Looks like she had a strike fault up down there. Yep. And that hers was pretty pretty uh pretty regular as far as what what a second ball break is supposed to do. So So you guys play a lot of minis. Yeah. Um, what it, what constitutes a mini? Uh, mini is usually like a one. It's it's a no B side, no loser side. It's just a single elimination race to three. Um, single elimination race to three. Usually you got eight players. Uh, depending on how the mini is set up and who's actually running the mini, um, it might be winner take all, all 80 bucks. Or you might do like a 30 50 split. So the person running the tournament, do they get money? No. There's usually not like a $10 fee or whatever. So okay. No greens fee in, in the minis? No. Okay. No, like, no, it wouldn't be a greens fee because everybody here has already paid your greens fees. Uh, okay, I just meant. Um, but usually, like, what, what some of the tournaments will call like an admin fee. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes some of the minis might just do like, you know, if you got 80 or you got eight players, you might take. Ten dollars each time you run a mini. First place will get fifty bucks. Second place will get twenty. So we got Tina shooting on the left side, and she's chose the she's chosen the solids. So she's looking right now to kind of see what her shape's going to be looking like if she can do a stop shot right there off the five. I believe Jeff is still shooting down on the right-hand screen. Yes, he is. Um, looks pretty. Oh, he must not be able to cut, come behind that seven ball, so he's going to be kicking at that ball. She just wants to make sure that he doesn't get stuck behind that seven. That's not terrible, but it's almost better that he missed, I should say. I don't know what his jumping abilities are. Uh, this is the first time I've actually seen Jeff shoot, so. You let me jump the old way, man. I can do it. Oh, the old scoop and score? Yeah, scoop and score. No. That's all we're playing. Nine ball later. Scoop and score. We'll play slot. We ain't doing the scoop and score. <laughs> I don't know you, how to do it you the scoop, other way. You scoop and score, you're going to be scooping and ripping this felt. I ain't ripping no felt. I am a professional. Tina Larson getting herself on the board over there on the, uh, the women's side. You're welcome, Lonnie. Absolutely. Lonnie, how's come you're not here? You plan on being here tomorrow or just didn't make it up this weekend? Oh, he's out of the Chicago area. Yeah, I, I've heard there's been several several players over this over there over here this weekend, down here this weekend I should say. Um, from the Chicago area that I have they're just great shooters. One hundred percent. There's nothing Nothing to take away from those guys. Got Carol breaking on the left screen. You got uh, Brett getting ready to jump. Probably going to go for that one ball, I would assume. 
And jump shots also another another uh, call call pocket call ball kind of thing. Especially when you got a combo like that, or if you just going straight for the straight for the one ball like that. Straight for the one ball. Don't touch nothing else. I oh. mean, I mean, it don't get any better than better than that. So now I mean, it's leave. He has the bank, I believe. I believe he has the bank, which is going to leave himself over towards the eight ball. But he's still got to take care of the five when he gets done. I guess he was looking to yeah. see if he could get on the five. Yeah, he's just wanting to. He's going to want to bank this and come over to the side rail. Ooh, he Ooh. missed it. Hard pocket down there. We couldn't see it. I get it, Lonnie. I get it. Uh, Keith, yeah, I, I haven't seen him bank, but uh, there are several several players from the Chicago area that, that's that northern northwestern Indiana area that play play pretty sporty banks. So, uh, gentleman Mark Jarvis, that's one one person I know personally that uh, fires fires banks in like brake speed. And he plays position every single time he shoots. Mm. And, I mean, it, so, you know a snooker table, right? Have you ever yeah. seen snooker play? They're longer. And it's pockets usually are, like yeah. a 6 by pockets 10 are smaller. Yeah, but usually they're 6 by 10 or 6 by 12. Um, I've watched Mark fire on a 5 by 10 snooker table, fire full-size cue ball or full-size regulation pool balls into those pockets. Mm. Just... Monstrous, and he's he's from over by that Chicago, northwestern Indiana side. So it's got to be something in the water. I don't know about that water up there, man. <laughs> water up there. Well, it's not the Flint water. I mean, yeah, true, it ain't Flint water. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jarvis. He's. I always enjoy getting around uh, old Uncle Mark, is what I call him. Get around Uncle Mark in the bedtime stories. <laughs> He's got, he's got some stories, man. But we got Brett breaking down on the uh, the right hand side table, and we're gonna have Carol come over on the the women's table. Uh, not looking the greatest. That's that looked like me breaking yesterday. I'm gonna say there's not many, not a lot of spread. Not a lot of spread. You're gonna have to bust some of them out of there. Yep. I didn't get to watch the watch the break itself, so I'm not sure. Not sure if something funky happened there or what happened. Heart sock, what's going on, buddy? Playing in the A team tomorrow, right? Oh wow! I didn't think she could get around it, but she. Oh, for the six ball there? Yeah. Yeah. She had nothing but room. My angle, I didn't know she was making it or getting <laughs> anywhere close, but nothing but room. Brett had a real nice breakout over there. Now himself on the stripes, looking like he can hopefully uh, get good shape here on the 11 ball. Good deal, Steve. Good deal. It's always good seeing you around here. Oh, undercut that one. Oh. Okay, I'm taking buttons away from you. <laughs> you know we can record to those buttons, right? You can record. Wait, what? Like we you can put like. Custom. Yeah, we can put whatever we want to. Ooh. <laughs> but so back to, back onto the Discord thing. Yeah. Um. There's one that it's like a door knock. Oh. And when I'm playing on the on the PC, got headphones like this, mm -hmm. so you hear everything. So when you hear the, the the Discord sound that whatever it plays, I have literally almost pooped myself. <laughs> thinking I've got, like, the ATF at my doorstep or something like that about to blow the side of my house out. <laughs> I mean, it's it's beyond scary. 
I don't even know why it's on there anymore. Because, I mean, that's just going to get somebody a heart attack. Got Carol so at we the can, table. So we can bring Discord into here. What do you mean? I can, so if you were at home. Yeah. I could send you this and you can commentate from there and I could bring. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It works, but it, you're totally like, is it going to work off the cell phone back and forth? Probably not. Oh, I wouldn't want to. I know I've got Discord on the on the computer, so that's what I mean. But from my computer, I can bring I can bring Discord into this right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if there's ever a situation where you guys are, yeah, remote. at an event or something like yeah. that, I can. I gotcha. We could do that. I could. Yeah. I just got to set up a Discord account. Gotcha. Yeah, for sure. I actually started it and then didn't do it. <laughs> Come on, you got to commit. Is that, well, I was going to get my phone. It's actually on my phone. Oh, okay. They get to the close up early. Yeah. What time is Sissies. it? Uh, it is 10 o'clock. So we got Jeff on the table, and we got Carol shooting. Looks like Jeff is shooting at the solids, I believe. Yep. So go ahead and play for that three ball come around, depending on how what kind of shape he's getting. Yep, definitely play for the one ball. Slide over just a little bit. Leave yourself a small, small angle for the uh, four ball to the seven. Oh, kind of overran that one a little bit, Jeff. But that's all right. You might be able to go ahead and take the seven ball first over there. Because, Ben, got, got the people asking for it, buddy. I'd be able to go ahead and take that seven ball first and then uh, just kind of kind of lightly touch the four, draw it back just a little bit. Yep. Play for the uh, play for the more I believe loser takes fourth. Um uh, no, this is not the Masters finals. Uh, but Jeff went ahead and took down Brett Cruiser right there at a four zip run. I mean, that's a that's a tough loss. I mean, you you sometimes expect that, but with with loser breaking, you're giving the opponent you're you're giving your opponent another chance getting back into the fight. Right. So, but if you can't if you can't get the breaks down, I mean, you're just and if you break pretty you know decently. You're just letting your opponent come in with a wide open table and with Jeff's skill, I mean you can a lot yeah. of damage that can be done there. Surgically remove all the balls like he did. Yeah. Yeah, it's and like it play. and it doesn't seem like when I was watching Jeff, like I said, it we just saw him, but it didn't he didn't seem like he had a lot of unnecessary ball rolling. You know what I mean? Like Oh, he didn't he didn't do nothing crazy with the cue ball. He right. he's he's all probably the shots more of, were right there, very methodical, but so, so is this Tina or Carol? Since this I is Carol shooting right here. Yeah, this is Carol. Uh, she's out of the Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, she, I believe, she either owns or manages. She might own a Corner Pocket Pub. Oh, I think I've seen people here with shirts on. That yeah, say Corner Pocket and those. Yep. yep. Yeah, Ben, help me out there. Does Carol own Corner Pocket, or is she uh, manages it? She, see, like, not CEO, I guess, but some kind of a uh, split ownership or whatever. Help me out here, Ben. So she ain't putting quarters in the machine. She gets to play for free? She could. <laughs> she definitely can. Slight part of, okay. Yeah, I know I know Carl. Carl's one of my good buddies. Um <laughs> I know Carl was a manager over there, bar manager, um, but I just didn't know what Carol's uh, overcut on that one. 
I just didn't know what Carol's uh, official, not title of, but I guess we can call it title. So, is there any clean shots there? No, there's just safety. So, Tina's going to play cue ball off the top, or that top ball, is that 12, and then try to tuck behind. So, <laughs> that was the safe, smart shot. The goofy shot that Bubba would have tried going for would have been something off the wall. Probably would have left pers- left Carol out like, like no other. Yeah, so obviously it would be come off the long rail here and leave it up on the five. She really don't want to break out the five and the eight yet. No. Because that would give. No, the eight goes in one pocket right now. Yeah. Uh, Ben, he's actually been at corner quite a bit here lately. Um, I think he said he's been, he's been there the last 12 days minus Easter. Uh, but I know he's been putting some, he's been putting some time in out there <clears throat> as long, along with his cues. So, uh, I know, I know mine's in the final process of getting, uh, getting the pen put, put in, getting, uh, final sand and everything and getting the wrap and, or spray and then put the wrap on, so. We're getting close. We're getting close. I bet his stuff isn't warped. I bet it's not. <laughs> she is going to break them out. Yeah, she's going to. That's not bad. Not bad. Laid it up. Uh, ben, I went with a eight-pointer, um, four high, four low. Uh, I believe it was green, lime green, uh, fluorescent pink, and I believe white. God, I'm glad your Orange wife something. dresses you because you have no color coordination there. <laughs> You've seen my other cue, haven't you? No. Oh, yeah, you had a, You would have had. Oh, yes. Yeah. The pink one? No, I haven't actually. Oh. I've never seen the pink one. Um, but then it's uh, Bird's Eye Maple and then Bacote Points and a brown Jumpin' Kangaroo leather wrap. Tina went ahead and knocked that ball out of there, broke it out. Very smart play. Very smart play there. <coughs> well executed. Expect nothing but the less, nothing but the best out of her. So, yeah. so Tina here, she's got two options. She can play for the the tighter cut. She just wants to make sure she gives him, gives herself enough angle and it's not straight. So, which that should work. Play this up. Again, she can play it up or draw it back and a punch over. <coughs> so it looks like she's going to be playing with some top left English, come around two rails. I, I agree, Keith. I believe that Tina's supposed to, but I will never count, uh, count Carol out. Carol is is that underdog that you know you can't you can't sleep on her. So it's two to two. Looks like we got a coin flip. Carl is all right for repairs. He's all right for everything, man. I that guy makes beautiful cues, good shafts. Uh, who's waiting to play the winner? So Michelle West won the hot seat. <coughs> King seat. No, Juan. He's not the king seat. He's the A winner. Okay. I thought I had to come over there and give him the old one-two. No. So, Jeff has to double dip for the chip. Yes. In case Ryan. That's, in that's, case Ryan's mu- that's mucho like, better. Um, Keith, I agree. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Tina's, Tina's – she's a, she's a stud. Well, they can all beat me. Yeah. Plus, I'm doing pretty good on the hit and hope. 
Well, we'll find out later on. They can probably all beat me in darts, too, the way I'm going. What, me? Anyway. Oh, I actually did. I So, I threw one season with Austin. Did you? Um, I don't. I don't remember exactly what what my averages or whatever was, but I do know that I was a pretty high uh, cricket. Okay, we'll see. Mark, we'll whatever. see. I'll have your stats pulled up here before the day's over. With bring them up, bring them out, bring them out. Um, my uh, for the, let's my l- dark my dark teammate will be here tomorrow commentating. Okay, and she has her laptop. Uh, forget that. We got Juan back here. We got our IT guy. Well, Juan can't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's keep your own personal opinions to yourself there. Let's also remember he is a custom queue maker. He's not a machine production queue maker. So uh, if you love Predator, you love Predator. I didn't say I had like no like standout freaking oh, average. He said he has a master's average. Juan, get it, pull it up. <laughs> master's average. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, he said his one season he made the grudge t- match <laughs> team. So that's something we do do. Like um, I don't know why they don't do it in pool. It don't make any sense. But all those vendors I was telling you about Schaefer. Yeah. Schaefer Indy. Schaefer Columbus. Schaefer Dayton. Yeah. They're all owned by the same Schaefer now, I do believe. Don't hold me to that. I don't know. Gotcha. And then Pioneer, um, they have that summer showdown. Gotcha. But each city has four men and four women, and on Sunday they play a grudge match. So there's a Indy team, a Columbus team, a Dayton Dayton team, and a Cincy team. Now I think they're adding the Louisville team and or something like that. Ooh. Don't hold me to all this stuff. They're adding some more teams to it. Good. Because uh, – you know, Schaefer is so big, but I don't know. So, as I thought, there are no stats out there. He's fit. What? You, you guys delete stuff after three years? What is this like? I don't know. They delete stuff after three years. He's. Was the Clinton trials? <laughs> delete my emails. <laughs> <That's terrible. laughs> you still got a Blackberry? <laughs> 33,000, gone. Uh, All right, back to pool. Who we got up there shooting? Looks like Mr. Jeff. Uh, no, Wait, that is Dennis. Dennis. Yep. After he walked around the corner, I realized it. It's Dennis up there on the right screen. We got uh, Carol shooting on the re- on the left. So I wonder how long Mr. Dennis has been sitting. I will say it is now ten o'clock. I will say that Dennis has been sitting at least three four maybe, hours. At least three, maybe four hours. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Nice shot there. Miss Tina, one hundred percent, Ben. Let's just uh, let's keep this keep this friendly in here. We don't need nothing crazy going on. Oh, sure we do. Let's have fun. Oh, we want a little want a little nah. action. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh-uh. Yes, hill hill for the ladies. That's what you want to no, see. No, we're not ready for you. That's who's coming tomorrow. Who? Miss Deanna. Oh, okay. I was ready for you to look up his stats. He supposedly played darts. I think he's fibbing. You Juan. can ask Austin. What? what are the commentators' names? Hey, what's your name, mister? My name? Yeah. Caleb Butler would like to know. Hi, Caleb. My name is Steve. And this is Mike. Everybody calls me Bubba. A lot of people have a lot of names for me. I was. I, I'm just going good. off a loser because you said the <laughs> Steve side. The Steve side of the bracket, yes. <laughs> I 
little little shy stroke on the uh, on Carol's Carol's side right Somebody there. Somebody could have been here tonight commentating, but they decided to go play steel tip. Who's that? She's in Kentucky. Oh, she she decided to go play steel tip instead. Yeah. Wow. Well, she's on a team. Oh, okay. So she's not selfish. She just was on a team. She committed. She's going to the she team. She made a commitment. Yeah. I get it. I like it. Respectable. It's all right. Steve doesn't forgive you, but I will. I'll forgive her. She brings me mints tomorrow. Brings you what? Mints, man. That, that medicine's like... Got oh. Like my yeah, throat yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. Yep. Mmm. Carol. That's all right. It's going to bring Tina back to the table right there. Make them. Well, if you don't, then I'm definitely going to be sleeping with Steve instead. No. We're going to make that king size look like a twin size mattress. No. <laughs> I'm not cuddling with Bubba. <laughs> you ain't got to cuddle. You just got to lay there. <laughs> I will, if you, if you know me at all. Put my, <laughs> I put my CPAP on in like 10 seconds. I'm gone. That's good. I should be having. I should be getting one of those here pretty soon. Oh, dude, new one. It's, it's life changing. <laughs> nice oh. shot on the. Uh, yeah. Just gonna bring so this over a little bit. Dennis play it off. hit the five and left yeah. himself. I would not push him on the floor. I might like plug the plug the air hose or something like that. I always joked around with Zach, the guy that was in the chat earlier. Yeah. Because uh, he's got one as well. Well, then you haven't heard everything. All right, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Tina Larson being your ladies master champion. Per no no no. I thought that was for yeah that that is my bad. I'm over here thinking we're already in the finals. No, they're like three rounds behind the men's. Um, so that's gonna bring Tina back up to play. We're gonna find out here in a second, folks. Now we're going to watch Jeff break out here. Not Michelle. Eh, it might be Jeff. Michelle. <laughs> there they go. Got nothing but choices. Oh, boy. He dropped at least one of each. Did he drop two solids? One, two, three, four. If he can't get around. I believe so, Lonnie. We're getting it double-checked right now. So, Oh, of course not, Deanna. I appreciate it, Gerald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Ben, if you're not here, I don't think we're going to listen to you. <laughs> listen, Linda. Uh, we got Jeff shooting down here. He I took guess he can, get clean. he can get clean around there. Yeah, just a little bit of top. Top left hand, or top I right hand. I just know you clear the uh, 12 ball. That's all. I was oh, yeah, yeah. So here he's going to run. In, he's actually going to run into the nine ball. So he's wanting to make that stop right there. He's got the five ball, the two ball, the eight ball. Five ball, five, sorry. Five, five two, two, four, four eight. eight. Listen, Ben, you can drive down here. If you give me three going to 11, I'll take three going to 11. Uh-oh, what Lonnie send? Oh. <laughs> Looks like Cartman. <laughs> you said Cartman? Yeah, from South Park. Yeah. I was thinking he could possibly go that same that route that, that Jeff took instead of doing the the five two four eight. Yep. <laughs> All right, it's gonna bring it one one. One one here. Ben, what do you mean for how much? I mean we we talking cheap, we talking friendly. I don't gamble big money with, with friends. I never have, I never will. So that means we're gambling big money because I guess we ain't friends. <laughs> <laughs> At 
we might be paying to see who's gonna who's gonna drive down to Gill's Tacos tomorrow and get me some tacos. Ooh. Michelle West and Tina Larson for the championship is on deck. Now, are they playing this on the same on the same table, or are yeah, they waiting? Or all the masters are going to be played on the the same thirty six. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine, Ben. I'll, I mean, I'll I'll ask for like five going to eleven if that if that makes it even, you know, even Steven. Now, why'd you bring my son into it? Oh, your son's name Steven? Yeah. Oh, duh, your name is Steve. Steve Ben. Is Nobody it Steven? Steve. No, I'm Steve. Oh. He's a Steven. Oh, you gave him the more sophisticated name? Yeah. The more fancy. Fancy Steven, huh? Mm -hmm. An old, ba an old he, backwoods he, he, hillbilly Steve. Yeah, he ain't lying there. <laughs> well, second generation from a creek in Kentucky. Brother, I know where I come from. <laughs> my grandma was born in Hell, on Hell's Creek, Kentucky. Nice. I, I, not really. <laughs> Down in Beattyville. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking about them. Hey, did you have one yet? No. Oh, here, let me, let me Dude, help norm you. Normally, I would have eaten them all. All right, here we go. Get a little split action here. Are these the hot ones? Because I don't want hot. Are they spicy? A little spicy. A little spicy. You might need another water. Like, I mean, it's not. Is it like Cajun spicy where it's going to be like nice and good and, you know, just make your lips numb or is it going to like light me on fire? More of the Cajun. Okay. So little, can, little zing. That's fine. What is it, though? Oh, I didn't mute me. All right, we got to go get them, Tina. So that's Michelle there. Uh, shooting at the table right now. Yeah, that is Michelle. <laughs> All right, so back to the pool cue. You know, the 500 to 1200 to $1,400 sticks. Do they really hit the ball any differently? 
Or is it what the wood's made out of? I mean, because I know there's more so, expensive woods. I mean, but does it hit any tree? Or? No. Okay. Um, that's mainly the shaft. So you can have, you can get a cheap lower end, you know, $200, $300 cue, but I should say, and put nice. a decent. Nice cut there, Michelle. A really good, you know, a uh, really good shaft on it. It'd be good to go. Um, but there are things that change the hit, the feel of the hit, I should say. Uh, your wood, your wood choice, uh, pin choice. Now the pin choice is also different materials. You could have uh, what I have is a G10 pin, so it's so like a hard plastic. Connection. Yeah, the joint okay. um, is a G10, so it's just a very hard plastic. I believe is what it actually is. Um, stainless, titanium. I mean, there's just tons of different things you could have. Uh, we're talking three hours. We're definitely going to be awake. I'm not going to be there. Why? We're going to be over here playing. Okay. Do you uh, realize I, I went to work at 6 today? I mean, yeah. I got up at like 5. Yeah. I so I, That was my day yesterday. Dude, my birthday was two weeks ago. I'm okay. old. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I don't just look this pretty. I need to get sleep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The old, uh, All right, be safe getting up here if you come up here tonight. The old I don't wake up and piss excellence kind of thing. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. See, like I said, that, that's one of the movies I'll watch over and over again. I think anything with Steve Farrell. Steve Farrell? Will Farrell? Will Farrell. Jesus. I was thinking Steve Carell. You know. Either I, one of those, actually. I, I hated him at first. Really? I can't remember what movie finally got me to watch and then go watch a couple of the other ones. You think it was 40 Old Virgin? Uh, no, actually, I don't really even i probably never seen that movie start to finish. I don't think I've seen a lot of movies start to finish. I think a lot of the things that I see on, like, YouTube shorts or reels or whatever, yeah. even TikToks and stuff like that, you see a lot of movies, the most, the more popular scenes or whatever, cuts. Yeah. But anyways, back to pool. We got Michelle West over here. She's going to play herself over here for the 13 and the side. And then nice, I don't know, did she? I think she got it. No, 13 she's got. Where's she putting the eight ball when she's done? Um, The eight ball goes down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, Actually, Can which it? one is the eight? I don't know. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, that, is the eight next to the purple. 13? That's purple. Okay. Yeah, that has to be the eight next to the 13. So. That's what I'm saying. Where's she put the ball? Um, If she plays top English and puts the cue ball down uh, towards the side pocket, about a diamond and a half. Away from the side pocket, yeah, she should be lined up pretty good for the bank. But can she draw back can, can, or punch over? Maybe. I was gonna say, can she punch over and move the eight out from where it's sitting? Well, I think the angle that she has, she would have to punch out and run into the seven. If she can punch and move over to the seven, it might make lane better for the eight into the uh, side pocket up top. Oh, I see. I got you now. We're about to find out. Whatever it is, we're going to see it here in a few seconds. Hey, right there we go. And she had enough angle. It was your. <clears throat> obviously, people can't not hit the camera. Uh, Caleb, the orange things under the tables, those are flags for the referees. So any of the uh, state championships, tournaments, anything like that, um, we have uh, referees come out of, I believe the majority of them actually come out of Canada. The whole group is from Canada. The whole group? Yeah. Holy shit. And they all ride schmooze. together in like the same vehicle. It's yeah. funny. All right, nice, nice out done. right there for uh Miss uh Miss Michelle West. I believe that was her break too, correct? Or was that Tina's? I do not know. Okay. All right, so we got Jeff over on the right hand table. He's this was his break this time because it was? Okay. Yeah, because Dennis won the last Last so he's shooting at the one ball right there. 
like it had All eyes. Right. Left himself just enough angle to, sh to kind of scoot over a little bit. <clears throat> the six. What do we got left? Top six four. four. Six four. Uh oh. Oh okay. See, that's what I think. Uh, uh, think about Jeff is that he plays center ball almost every single shot, unless he absolutely has to. He'll put some English on it right. and get that cue ball to dance around. But he is just such a such an old school center ball. Let Straight your stroke. Hole. Let your stroke just yeah. do the do the ding do the dang thing and. Very tough, Lonnie. Very tough. Um, looks like Tina. She had one. Okay. So Tina. I didn't see it fall. Trying to see. The only issues that I'm seeing, you got. You got this. You got the nine ball by the side pocket. But then you also have the one, and it appears to be the four or the two. I believe that's the two next to the next to the long rail, but by the side pocket. So, <clears throat> but opening shot either way. Looks like you're going to have to take. Wow, well, what do you what do you take here, Steve? I don't know. What's the chat thinking for uh, for the women's side? You play safe. You just yeah, that's what I was going to say. You about have to play safe. Force her to yeah. shoot at the stripes. My, my other line is let it rip, tater chip. You know what I mean? You just yeah. let it rip. You just let it rip. Caleb, you, you play darts. Who do you play darts for? Yeah, I definitely agree, Keith. He he's he's a very simple shot, very simple shot, but he just he gets it done. All right. He's not throwing much walking back and forth. You're talking about Jeff, obviously. He just like looks at it. Yeah. Lines up. Boom. Done. Yeah. Moves. It's crazy seeing other players, like I, the local players that I know, um, Pioneer. Okay, so you're down. You're up by me. Uh, I, I shoot Pioneer uh, pool leagues. Um, but it's crazy seeing other top-tier players like Jeff. I've, I've never met Jeff before. I've known Dennis since I've, since I've started playing pool, you know, six, eight years ago. Um, and I've always known Dennis as being a, a top-level uh, local player. But then you see, you come to these kind of events, and uh, you see players like this just getting rained out on. That's our pioneer rep in pool. Oh, okay. Uh, what's her name? Carol, I do believe. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just met her. <coughs> I was two hours into Dart League when I met her, so you cut me a little slack. We played last night way too late. Yeah, Caitlin, this is very uh this is a this is a dang good match for the for the ladies finals, so uh Shar is our pool rep. I don't know if Pioneer has a pool or a rep for darts and pool or if it's just oh, the same person. That, that, she just came up and, and waved the Anna. That's her name, Char. Okay. Oh, that's who was just waving at me. I was well, with Deanna last night. That's what I was going to say. I, I, I think she night. was talking to uh, Caleb for Pioneer. No, Caleb. She, Caleb, if he lives up there around you, he plays for Jerry Porter. Okay, is his is his rep. Okay, I was just making sure. Cause yeah, sh so Char in my area is our Pioneer rep. Oh. So that's why I was thinking, <clears throat> I think oh, that's Deanna was res responding to Caleb's. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's Jerry. Yeah, Char's our, our pool rep, but I would assume, so obviously there's Jerry for pool or for darts, and then Char's for pool. Is that how it is for you guys? You guys have a rep for darts and pool separate? Or are they the same person? I have multiple reps for darts. Some I like and some I don't. Out of the same charter? Yeah. And no okay. reason I said that. She's my. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's one of them. <laughs> she's, she's a dark. Yeah, she's a dark rep, and she's also <laughs> my uh, my my triples 
partner. Oh, okay. All right, let's get back here. What we got? All right, we got Michelle on the left side. We got Jeff bucking away like chickens. Yep, bark, 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 bark. That's what we need on here. Bark, 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 bark. No, you need quacks. Quacks? Yeah, ducks. Quack, quack. Ducks or ducks are cue ball, or balls sitting just waiting to be taken out. Oh. Like ducks on a pond? Is that, yep. Is that with a, for that pun? Sitting ducks. So Jeff's going to go ahead and cut this 15 ball in this corner pocket right here. Wants to leave himself not that close, oh, yeah. but I think he can still pull that one off. Michelle. What is Michelle shooting at? I would assume that Michelle's shooting at the stripes. Yeah, I do believe Tina sunk a solid early, so. Gotcha. Not the piercing table. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I just want to hear him say Jacoby. Yeah, that's who it was. That's who was saying it all goofy. Yeah. Jacoby. It's a Jacoby Q. Oh, tough break right there for Michelle. She was just trying to bump that nine ball off. Get your mouse out of here, woman. Jeff went ahead and sunk that that ball. It was pretty close to the uh, pretty close to the cue ball. Good shot for Jeff right there. So can can he? I guess he can sneak by there and get that nine ball, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Tina's going to go ahead and play safe right here. She's going to stun that ball, put the cue ball back back behind uh, the other object ball there. So Jeff needs to leave himself on the top side of that two ball over there, right? Or is he going to try to kick it out so he can get a shot on the eight? Uh, either way, it looks like he's drawn back. So, oh. so yeah, he's coming back. Anyway. He was just wanting he's to going play. back anyway to get on the eight. He was wanting to just play in that top right hand corner. All right, there you go. we're going to be three two. Jeff is on the hill with Dennis breaking. <laughs> and we got Tina shooting, or no, we got Michelle shooting after that safety shot from Tina. Looks like she's probably going to go ahead and call that 13 ball. Didn't do anything. Trying to see if it would actually update the score. Oh. See if we could do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if we do that, we can get rid of one, right? Pretty much. He types <laughs> the names in. Oh. But you know everybody, so we don't need <laughs> the names. <laughs> so. We got Michelle kicking over here. I know a lot of, a lot of the higher-end players. I don't know. You start getting to the open stuff like, oh, tough. Lisa, the only issue with that, um, and Tina seems like she's more more in stroke right now, more, more in gear. Um, the only issue with a shot clock is that you're putting both players on the shot clock. So... If Tina takes, you know, an extra couple seconds, you know, lining up her shot, so be it. And we are talking the finals. So if I take two minutes, three minutes to look at a shot to make sure I'm either going to make it or play really good safe, I'm taking that two or three minutes. And if my opponent's going to take two or three minutes, how long is a minute? It's a minute. Yeah. See, we got 35 seconds to throw. Really? Between darts. Yeah. You either got to let it rip, tater chip. If you don't know, what it's a little different though. Gotcha. We're already seeing our score, so we know what we have to throw before we get up there. You know what I mean? We're able to th we, we don't we don't know, you know, and pool, you don't know what your angles are until you get up from your seat, you know? Right. Not in steel tip, but in soft tip, it's programmed into the boards. At 35 seconds, huh? That's crazy. Well, tournaments last forever, and then they round out, too. 
round out? What do you mean? Like in cricket, um, most tournaments they only give you 25 rounds. Oh, okay. In league, you get 35 rounds, but in tournaments, they give you 25 rounds, or we'd be here till. <laughs> gotcha. But I mean, I have I have seen, and myself as a ref, I have had to put players on shot clocks, um, <clears throat> and players from the opposing team, not knowing what the actual rule is as far as well. Granted, we'll say we'll say Michelle took a little bit too long on on looking at that kick shot, whatever it may be. But say Tina also takes a lot of time on shots. Yeah. <laughs> Austin about, Austin about got taken out. <laughs> uh, but say you're just not happy because Michelle took too long to look at this shot. Yeah. But you might have a couple shots coming up later on where, you know, you might have to take a little bit extra time. Well, guess what? Both of y'all are on the shot clock. If, if you happen to take too long, you're also going to have ball in hand as well. But, yeah. And it's one of those, like, uh, one of those situations of mutual respect, we'll say. Yeah. Good deal, Rebecca. We're glad to have you here. Oh, yes. I remember the last name. Yeah, Tina is a very upbeat, up pace getting in a groove kind of player. So she's a very rhythmic, rhythmic player. So but you said she's from Port Wayne, right? Uh, I think she's actually up north. North Ohio? Or? North, northwest Indiana. Oh. Keith, please let me know, man. I, I know she's, I think she's up there somewhere. I'm not sure who Mama is. Mama. Ooh. Portage, Indiana. Where is that? Uh, no, Lisa, yeah, that's definitely <clears> – <throat> there are some players like that, and we've had to uh, kind of crack down on some of those players. And unfortunately, this is nothing against the women players, but here it comes. Female, I'm telling this you, female Mike players. Bubba Han. <laughs> Please send your email to Mike Bubba Han. Yeah, put it to the complaint department. I think it's my trash file. Um, <laughs> but uh, but some of the women do take longer. I, I but here's the thing. I, I have I have known. And women have more, have better hand-eye coordination. Oh, they do, by far. Yeah. There's some, like, I was teaching a 13-year-old, I'm like, um, you know, some of the best snipers in the world are women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are, by um, far. <laughs> um, I used to be a, t uh, a welder fabricator for 12 years before I got into a driving truck. Yeah. And I've had some, some female welders that are just – completely knock it out of the park, make my stuff look like chicken scratch. <clears throat> oh, yeah, with their hand-eye coordination. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. But we've got – that's the one thing I like about, like, these sports that we play here. Like, pool and darts are both the same. Um, they're both strong, and you know what I mean? But Aaron, I definitely agree. <laughs> <coughs> nice shot right there by – oh, I thought it was going straight in. All right. Going to bring uh, run him out Jeff back to the table. The old pluck, 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 pluck. Does Austin want his seat back? I mean, is that good? I mean, he had a match a little bit ago. Is he already back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like popcorn. Oh, you guys won? I was going to say. <laughs> Did he win? <laughs> no. He lost. Poor feller. 
Nice it's cut. okay. We still love him. Very nice cut by Jeff. All right, so he's going to pluck the. Uh, well, the two. I just don't know where he's going next. Just center of the table. He's got a lot of options from the center. That's what I mean. I couldn't figure out what he. I guess he's going to go three when yeah. he's lining up there. Nope, maybe not. Possibly the seven. Draw back just a little bit over, yeah. Not draw back, but kick over. Punch over. Now he's got the five or the one, maybe. Five, one. Yeah, those are his two, two best options. But you sit there, you play, play a little bit of a stun. Take care of the uh, two ball on the side. Um, you want you want your if if this is a perfect world and you're playing perfect pool, you can basically stop shot these last three shots to get to the eight. Maybe have to lay up just a little bit on this one. Just move it. Yep, just a little bit forward. So. All right, this should uh, this should finish up. This should finish up the first set. We're looking at uh, the old two scoops for the win right here. Yeah, that's the first dip of the double dip of the chip. Yep. <coughs> now, this is where. On top of the table over. No, just kidding. Now, the rules, <laughs> rules state, right, that you have to have, what, Actually, one foot on the floor? One foot on the floor, and right there, Tina should have had her opponent move the cue back, or move that ball back. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Um, Why'd she do that? I mean, she hit her object ball. Nothing hit a rail. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but on the the men's side, what what I would say is happening right now, since either they're either a they're taking a break, no, they're going to update the score, or b they're talking about chopping. Nah, I ain't chopping nothing. They're updating the score so everything gets done in Copy Sport. I wouldn't chop it either. I'd run it out. Nice clean shot there. She wanted to break that off a little bit. How we doing, Dougie? Uh, I know there was just a issue with uh, the wrong person getting labeled as the winner, so it must have. Uh, oh, and they're copy sport. Yeah. So Dennis just came over here to to let let the tournament director know about that and get that schedule or get that fixed up. And <clears throat> Michelle's going to go ahead and play this combo here with the two, the four, one. Nice shot. Uh, Michelle, she's got some options here. She might be able to get the two. I don't think so. No. Um, if she can, I would definitely be trying to go for that three ball. Possibly work on getting, getting the eight and two out of there. How we doing, Dougie? You take the three versus the five. Three ball. No, I just know she just lined oh, up on gotcha, the five gotcha. the way the angle. Okay. I think she's going to play play the three, but she might be able to try to. Yeah, 
There goes the, the two. two. I guess the two ball might go. Well, she's got an option down there, so if she can't get to the two, she's definitely got the five. And she also has the four. The, the four yep. She's got a good shot on the four, too. I mean, she's got, she's got a shot on all the other three balls that are on the table still, right. so. Dougie, I'm not sure if I asked you about this, buddy, but I, I'm not sure if you're coming this weekend. So I know you said something about playing the Expo next week, or in two weeks, I should say. No, it is next week, isn't it? Yeah. Super Billiards Expo. You guys ever want to go to Philadelphia? No. Yep, that's what I was thinking, buddy. I was thinking so. I mean, I'll go to Philadelphia. They got good. They got good. <laughs> Don't steaks. say good steak. No. They, they got good steak sandwiches. I, you know what? I was excited. I was excited for Philadelphia because of that. Uh, I was not happy with how they how they tasted. Really? Yeah. I'm not excited at Are all. Are you going back again? I'll call I, my buddy that works out there. He's freaking a stupid Eagles fan. But um, <laughs> I know there's places up there because he says you can't go to all the. Like the chains? Yeah. He said there's a couple of them out there that are good. So it looks like Michelle's going to look take a look at that seven over there. Dennis just broke out over here. Taking the seven. Jeff down here doing Jeff things. Shell going to take a look at the... Two. Two of the four. I was looking at the five. Heck, I was all the way off on that. You was off? Uh, well, I thought she was lined up on the two, but she was lined up on the five. Okay. That cue ball laying on there. Yeah. What can she I take it Michelle is the solid. Yeah, well, okay. what, can, what can she do with that solid? Um, because that obviously ran. Hope too far. that she got something figured out. Uh, <laughs> there's not really a, a a good safe. I mean, you can you can skim off the left side of that or the right side of the of the ball, and uh, play left hand English. Put the cue ball down towards the short rail on the left side of the table, <clears throat> and just create some distance. Because there's like I said, there's not really a safety. I think she's going inside. That's outside English. Oh. It's not that's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not great. Still leaving Tina the nine ball or the thirteen ball. Or she can just come back with a safety again. Which is what she should do. Really, um, you wouldn't shoot the thirteen or nothing? No. Why? No. Nope. Uh, chance that it. When she does a stop shot. She's got the nine roll over. Hit the. She 11. does. 
come down and hit the whatever this is down here. We'll call it the 12 or the 10. She, I don't know what it is. She might be doing that because she's definitely waiting for Jeff to take his shot. So she might be trying to look at it a little bit better. Um, Jeff's shooting at the eight ball right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. Nice. Cut lead that done. one in. <clears throat> um, but... If if she misses the shot, she sells out for Michelle to run. You you always have to know the percentages. Yeah, I understand. I'm not saying I, I I'm that, not saying that she is going to miss. Once in a while, it. you gotta you gotta win. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely more of the risk take and try to play for the out. But we are talking the finals, and she does have to double dip Michelle, so. So safety it is. Yep. I think You're right. That's a smart shot. Oh. There oh. we go. There we go. That's what I want to see. Let's win the game. Bubba and his safeties get it. <sighs> she she played on the on the top side of that pocket too. If she if she would have been off another quarter of an inch, it would have probably jarred. Oh yeah. Well, I mean she. Would have missed a pocket. She would have missed it, right? Beautiful. Beautiful, Tina. Beautiful baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin from Boston. <laughs> yeah, the baked beans over there. Beautiful Tina baking out the... Who's the Who's the guy that I'm trying to sound like right now? I don't know. You're sounding kind of foolish. <laughs> the guy that's on Family Guy. In the wheelchair. Oh. What's the actor's name? Voiceover's name? I have no idea. Yeah. Um, Come on, Peter. I, 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 just, <laughs> I just saw the episode where they picked him up with a forklift to make him think he was walking. <laughs> <laughs> his pants fell off. <laughs> his name's Joe, but should yeah, we tell Joe. him, nah, I'm walking. I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> just a regular guy. Regular Joe. Oh. And then Quagmire found the <laughs> internet porn. <laughs> Oh, goodness. That's stupid. I don't know how they get away with what they write in that show. Uh, same with South Park. South yeah. Park, you can get away with everything. I think South it's because it's a cartoon. at least on the internet, or at least on, like, cable. You know, yeah. family guys on, like, Channel 9. I don't know how they get away with what they say. Nice. Done. See? That's the that's the confidence that Tina's got right now. So, she, she is, like what, like what Ronnie said earlier, she's got the firepower right now. Go for the win. <laughs> good shot, Tina. She's got to run out. She she had a good shot, but she's got to stay down on those shots. Good run out. Dennis over here needs to run out of himself. He, he broke, right? Dennis broke over here. Um, I do believe he's breaking. In, in, in yeah, I, we're not updated on the score for that one. Yeah. Right, but he's... One, one game. Okay. No, I said Jeff. Sorry. I can't get the IT department to do their job right. Peter. <laughs> Come on, Peter. Wait, what's that little old man down the street? <laughs> That's uh, what we What's that guy's name? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> man, get your old fat ass over here. I got popsicles down in the basement. <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> That's what we're going to nickname Juan. <laughs> I'll get the end of change his name on the board. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. That's terrible. What it, uh, I'm going to have to look that up. But while my phone's running the stream, I can't, oh. look, I can't look it up. <laughs> All right, give me one second, guys. We're figuring this out. 
That was a pretty good. Uh. <laughs> Herbert the pervert. Herbert. <laughs> you fat son bitch. <laughs> la da la da da. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. probably heard you got him laughing. Oh, Dennis is not a laughable person right now. No, I mean, he. Oh, why he missed it? Yeah. All right. So we got Jeff back to the table. We got Michelle back to the table. Now, Jeff just needs to win one more match. He's technically on the – no, he's not. Four. Four on both sides. Never mind. So. One more match. Uh, I was thinking – He needs three games. Four. Well, three more. Yes, three more. But, yeah, four yeah. total. <laughs> Safety shot right there by Michelle. <clears throat> Is the lighting different on the camera? No. Is it a lens? It's always been like that. I don't know why. For the same stupid camera. How did I just notice that? It's yeah. I have tried and tried and tried to play with that stupid tent on that individual camera and for some reason it's always like that. Well if we play on the stream, we're gonna play on that camera. So I can look tan. Okay. Make myself feel better. I don't know if you'll be able to see your tears. <laughs> what do you give me? You give me eight, and we're playing a nine, right? You give me eight balls. So you're talking like time. you're talking like uh, you I mean, go to eight, and I go to nine. No, you give me all eight balls, and all you gotta do is shoot the nine ball. I mean, your chances of winning are well beyond fifty-fifty, probably seventy-thirty. I still don't like those chances. I really don't. We're playing. We're playing heads up. Oh, okay. Buster. All right, we got Jeff coming out here. That's a four. He's gonna go back down. Is that the six ball? Looks like down there. So he's got the one in the side and the five. Oh, he's got another one in there. What is that, two ball? Two ball looks like, yep. yep. I didn't see it at first. I think he was, I'm not sure. Was he trying to draw back a little bit more on that? I thought he was just trying to line up on a one. I didn't know the two was in there. You know, leave himself a one, five, and come back down. But Gotcha. I didn't see the other one. Right. She was trying to bank shot there. Yeah, um, Tina's definitely, I think Tina's gotten in her head. I think, I think that Michelle just needs to take a quick quick little breather. Just relax, get back in focus. Well, he didn't want to touch that one ball. I do know that. No. Um, I mean, he plays, a, plays enough outside English, it's going to throw it back into the pocket. He can still cut it, right? Yeah. Come around, come around two rails. Yep, possibly three. Jeff went two rails down for the eight. Put the eight down in the left bottom corner. Left. Yep. Bottom left. I just put a little pressure on Dennis there. Down two games. Surely needs a break and run here, doesn't he? Yeah, Dennis needs something to get himself back into the game. Right.
Mr. Dennis. Dennis with the second ball break from the side rail. Mm. Dry break again. Mm. That's an actual truth. That's what he used to call it. Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying lady break because it was like a softer break. No. No. That's the old Dolly Parton. <laughs> Looks like Tina might have gotten a nice little, nice little jelly roll right there. So Jim at the table. We'll start plucking away at those solids. <clears throat> so is he going five three, five seven? I mean, he just made the five. Five's already so. down. Yeah, he just made the five. So <laughs> I right. was going to say. I'm just trying to think of his next uh, shot. Probably here. the seven ball. Seven going in the corner or the side, I mean. Yep. Oh, he is oh, going three. Three, okay. So I wasn't sure if he could get past there. That's why I was. Oh. Going to bring Tina back to the table. And she is not in the best situation. Can't see if she can get past that ball. That she's right over top of, or right next to, I should say. I'm surprised that she's not having somebody watch that. Not that it was needed, but yeah. more of a just to be in, just to be sure kind of situation. So in that case, would Tina have called on herself for somebody to come look? I would. would uh, no, it's definitely up to your opponent to have somebody come and look at a look at a shot and watch a shot. Um, <clears throat> but I have, you know, before taking a shot, step back and look to my opponent. Hey, do you want somebody to watch this? It might be close. You know, you, do you feel comfortable with me shooting at it as it is? You know. And then I would have called shot clock on you. <laughs> too much time. <laughs> Did you bring your COVID? Get away from me. No, dude. I've, you know, I've had that thing five times. Maybe. I've got some Stop. slight slight lung damage from it. Stop testing and you won't know you have it. Oh, I've I've been knocking on death's freaking door. Oh, have you? I don't have the man flu, but I just get, I mean, I don't mess around when it comes to sickness, I guess. I'm committed. You're committed. <laughs> well, my buddy got it there when it was pretty bad. His oxygen level went way, way down. He's like, what do you think I should do? I said, go to the hospital now. I, I thought I was having a heart attack. Oh, really? Yeah, it was that bad. I told him, I said, dude, you're, you're borderline going to whatever that's called. We need, to, need to be innovated? Yeah, he, he had to be. Uh, he, they put him on oxygen as soon as he got there. I said, yeah. dude, you're way too low. Yep. I got this little thing from my finger. Yeah. I was like, what's it tell you? I, for, it was Probably in the seventies uh, or eighties. It was like low eighties, high seventies. I'm like, get to the yeah. hospital. You're, you're. I forget what the percentage is supposed to be like before they start talking about innovation, but yeah, it was my oxygen oxygen level was low, my heart rate was elevated. I'm not one to go to the doctor or the hospital. I'm like, but something like that, you have to go. 
do I need to bring you antibiotics? <laughs> Deanna wants to know she has No. <laughs> Deanna, I have not had it for, I think we're at pushing on three. At least five seconds now. Three, <laughs> two or three months at least. No, I would say two months. Because I know I was out washing a semi and uh, got done with the job. And, I mean, I almost passed wait, out driving home. is that home. why they call you a lot lizard? Oh, wait, that's another reason. I forgot. That's, that's the other reason. <laughs> that's how I earned my fun money. Um, <laughs> Not to offend any lot lizards out there. <laughs> no offense to the, to the uh, Susie Homemakers. <laughs> Susie Homemakers and Sandpaper Sallies, we are sorry for your interruption. Do you even talk on the old Squawk Box anymore? Oh, yeah. Do they? A lot of things that we probably couldn't repeat on the stream, but. Oh, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> What's that? I was just wondering. I, I haven't talked on the CB in years. I, I, thought, a, I thought the back of your I, head looked familiar. I, I've got a, uh, <laughs> yeah. I hear you. <laughs> nice cut, Dennis. Very nice cut. Dennis needed that game. Oh, he got it. He was getting ready. I, I done press mute so I could yell at the IT department. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got an old President Grant export, which you probably never even seen. Uh-uh. Uh, from the factory at Dead Key Watts, 50 watts. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you get out to, there and reach. So Unity had made presidents, President Grant. Per, pre, they were all president radios. Okay. They'd send them overseas and get bigger finals. These are actually, it's an actual final radio. Oh, geez. So it has finals in it, yeah. It's a good talking radio. Nice. And then I got a little General Lee that's a newer electronic one, a little 10-meter radio. Gotcha. Michelle going to put this, uh, put the dagger in that rack. Yeah, I might be the only guy in here with a stupid FCC license. What's wrong with that? Oh, I'm just saying that I actually have an FCC license where I used to have to. You take a test on oh. tubes and everything else. Tough break right there for, for Jeff. <clears throat> I think that's the first break in scratch that I've seen him do uh, since he's been on stream. I honestly. think that's the first one I've seen this weekend. Yeah. Um, my buddy Eric Miller, actually, he's he's getting into the uh, uh, what I'll call end of the world radio. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bring it up because I'm gonna act like I feel like an idiot for calling it that. Oh no. I actually have no. What I mean, I have a general radio license. It's called a GROL. Okay. Here's some of the stuff that he's done. Any of, that, any of that lingo ringing the bells to you? Oh. Uh, hmm. yeah, where's he doing that up there by you? Yeah, we're by Defiance. Actually lives in town with me. Not with me, but in town. Same town. <laughs> How close is that to Dessler? Uh, not far. You got some people up there, you know? No. That's where my other job goes through, Dessler. Yeah. Oh, for the CSX? Yeah. Gotcha. So I'm going to take it that we are on the hill for the first match and possibly the last match if, if Michelle can close this one out. So I believe she just won the flip and she took the break. Oh, Dennis needs to watch because that ball is, that cue ball is over the line. Our point of view. Isn't it ball in hand? Yeah, but you still got to stay in the kitchen. Oh. So it must must not have been, I guess, like I said, from our point of view, it kind of looked like it was over. But what do we know? Just, we're still only seeing one angle. So. Yes, sir. At the house, mm -hmm. got a two-stage furnace. First stage is heat pump. The other stage is propane. You ever seen those? I am so, HVAC illiterate. Okay, so it, instead of you having electric emergency heat on a heat pump, okay, I have a 
125,000 BTU propane. Okay. It's, it's backup. It's what it runs. It's backup in the stove and stuff. Okay. So, like, water heater, that kind of stuff? Uh, not yet, because it's still, it's still kicking. We gotcha. bought the place a couple years ago. We put a new heater in. So, get a call. Heat's not working. Well, these stupid things. So, when a heat pump transfers back and forth, because it, it'll go to defrost, right? Okay. Well, it draws in your emergency heat. Well, when it was drawing in my emergency heat, I didn't have any propane. I ran a propane dead. Ooh. So I called these guys today about well, when I was on my way up here. So, I don't know, 1 o'clock. They went out there and filled that for me today. But not an emergency run, not anything. How many, how many gallons? Thousand? Um, 500? Uh, it's a 500 tank, so 400 gallons. They won't let you fill it more than 80%. But. Gotcha. Did they hit you with uh, the empty fee? No, didn't do any of that. I oh. couldn't even believe this shit. They said, we'll get it in the next couple of days. I said, okay, that's fine. We can use radiant heaters. Yeah. It's not that cold. No, not at all. I just couldn't figure out why the furnace quit because it's brand freaking new. I was a little, little, little ticked. A little ticked. But. Huh. Well, that's that's nice. I mean, local company to you up there or, or uh, down there, I should say, or a pretty big there's company? There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, they're just like a family company. Oh, that's good. And I've never bought propane from them because we've had that in there for two years. We've never used more than. More than the 400 gallons that you probably had before? Yeah. Huh. So That's like, good, though. I mean. I don't know anything about propane. You're going to have to tell me, but yeah. You're not a Hank Hill propane and propane accessory? Dang it, Bobby. <coughs> nice cut in there yeah. by uh, by Tina. Yeah. Threw her arms up. She that wasn't ball happy is, with the leave. Ball is rolling. Got Dennis shooting at the solids over here on the right side of your screen. This is going to kick the eight out, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes. Ooh. That's what I was worried about. Boy. Oh, bother. That's why uh, I said that. Thankfully, he's got the four ball there. Oh. I was going to say, did that touch the rail or not? It looked like it stopped pretty quickly. I thought it would have hit, but. <sighs> so Dennis is going to try to draw back just a little bit, get himself behind that 12. Out from behind, I should say. Yeah. This should take the three here. Um, yeah, because I don't think you can get past the 13. So you're going to have to play the three. Has he got to play for the bank, or what's he? He's trying to run right into the 13. He said, excuse me, sir. I got a pool game to win. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dennis Woolley. <laughs> All right. Jeff's probably going to give it to him. Surprisingly, he's not. So, <clears throat> that's probably going to leave a bad taste in, in Dennis's mouth. Because you're at this level, unless Jeff just wasn't paying attention, you just you right, give I that mean, guy. But if you're not, if you're not, I don't know. Do you watch the other person every shot they do? For the most part, yeah. Do you? I wouldn't. Got Michelle working on these uh, solids up top. Good run down the rail. Take that five ball there. Wow, so, that's an open so break. So, Jeff, last rack breaks and scratches. This rack breaks dry. 
here. Keith's with me. You never give anybody anything. I, I, Keith, I so I somewhat agree. I really do. Listen to flip flopper over here. Flip no. If it's if it's a duck like that eight ball was sitting in the pocket, yeah, Dennis had to stretch over the table, but you know what? I mean, it's no, one of those common curves. Are... Yeah, and, it, not, and they're not me. I yeah, can miss a straight in shot. I'd make you you know what? I would make you ball in hand shoot the eight ball in. Shoot the nine later on. If you get ball in hand on the nine ball, you're shooting that thing in. Oh dude, I ain't gonna snooker you so bad I'm gonna get ball in hand you all You can't spell day. snooker. <laughs> you're exactly right. <laughs> J A I L Snooker. <laughs> that that is one hundred percent. If if they're giving me if they're giving me, uh, you know that same that same respect earlier in the match, you know, same situation. They're giving me that that eight ball. I'm doing the same thing in return. <clears throat> So what's Michelle gonna have? She's gonna have to push it out one rail to come up and hit the she, seven. She came up short on where she wanted to be. Um, but what I'm saying is her next ball after the six. She she, she wanted to play. The, she wanted to play for the seven. Um, just because it's easier to go from the seven to the three than to try to come over and play for the three and hope that you're gonna hold and not get stuck behind the the eight. So she wanted to be a little bit further out, kind of even parallel with the with the rail, um, and just lay up over over behind the seven. But she might be letting this one loose just a little bit. I was afraid of that. So one thing positive here for for Michelle's case is that the uh, 1311 little clusters down there, not a big factor, but still a possible factor. Jelly roll. She got herself a nice little roll there. Yeah. And I think she's going to be okay with taking that roll. You got Tina all <laughs> blocked in. Yeah, she's. If that's, especially hurt. if that's sitting on that eight ball there, she can't make anything in this no. side. There's a little bit of gap. She might be able to hit that 11 13. What she can do is come in from the backside. Um, kicking into the 13, yeah, this is what I would do. Off one rail? Come off the, the short rail into the 13. And safety it. Uh, that's a foul. From from my point of view, I think that's a foul. Why? I don't know if the 13 came back into the rail. Because oh. she, came, she came short rail into the long rail and then into the 13. But obviously it, it hit because she called her own foul earlier, so... Somebody tapping their foot. I don't know. Stage keep moving. Oh. Um, but obviously, Tina's uh, uh, prides or has takes pride in herself and calling her own fouls because she's done it, you know, twice earlier. So. Oh yeah. So obviously, it definitely was good. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That will that be was a foul. A little bit of a whoopsies. Yes. Yeah, see, same thing with Michelle. All right, Dennis gets that game. He's up three to two. Puts himself on the hill. Dennis puts himself on the hill, and uh, Tina's got herself... A ball in hand. She does.
I might have to let Austin take over. Why? I played darts till like 11 last night. Like you I said I got up at 5, and uh, I'm old. It's hard to look this good, dude. It's hard to look this good, dude. <laughs> you knew that was happening, too. <laughs> All right, Tina. Tina's take got a 13. Her soul. She might have played safe. She did. She must not like the, uh, the seven ball lane. In yeah. The, is that seven or three? That's a three lane in the pocket. Isn't it? Three's lane in the pocket, but she's, she's, I'm not sure what's going on. So she would have called safety before that shot. To yeah, she would have let she, she would have said safety and then made that ball. Usually, what I mean, usually there's two pretty good signs, like, uh, like in baseball when you call somebody safe. Gonna wait till the AM come up. Sounds good. I think we're gonna be doing the uh, big baby. <laughs> uh, she's gonna go ahead and take the initial intentional foul just to tie that up. Um. So two two well known play or uh, things to call safe on, uh, like playing safe in, in baseball. Yeah, usually that's a good good indicator. Like if you do the cutthroat, like you know, cut it out kind of thing, that's also a safe. Well, she would have. Deanna, he is not going to bed. I'm going to bed. You are not. It I is. Am. It is only. She kept me out till eleven. Eleven twenty. Like, yeah, it's, but now it's eleven o'clock right now, so you'll be all right. Listen, Juan's our child. If he's up, you're up. No. <laughs> she didn't want to bust all them balls out there at all. She did not. She did not but want to do that. But the thing is, ball in hand. is that Tina's ball definitely still went. Um. Yeah, see, Juan stays up late every night. Yeah, that's Juan. That ain't me. Juan. And he's going to be up. He'll be up another two hours. I am not. I'll make sure of that. At the dark tournament, they let me go to bed. Well, guess what? Where are we at? I know we're at pool. Pool. L billiards of pockets. The billiards is a different game than what we're playing right now. It is. I did not know that until the other day. Yep. Because I always thought this was called billiards, but it's not. <laughs> I was going to say Juan's normally late, but he wasn't this time, so. Oh, shit. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Austin Crackle. going to bed? No, he's not going to bed. I'm he's going to play minis and make money. I'm not a sissy la la like you. You say that like I'm not comfortable with it. <laughs> like it's supposed to mean something? Yeah. You've heard worse from better people? Yeah. So Michelle is kicking at the solids. Oh wow, she's yeah, she definitely had a shot. I didn't know she had a clean shot off of the strike, you know, off the yep, off the ball up there. <laughs> what is Jeff shooting at down here? Is he shooting at the solids? I believe so. Yeah, he's gonna play some play some top. What time does that uh, breakfast buffet open up? That's a restaurant in there. You know? I don't know. You don't want to eat that. Why? Uh, listen, I'm not shooting the rest of the weekend. Unless it's money matches against you, <laughs> I will engorge myself in a breakfast buffet. It ain't that good, dude. No? No. Why? Is it like, it's not like mass produced hotel breakfast buffet, is it? Yeah. It's the scrambled eggs, the potatoes. You might find bacon if you're here when it opens. Yeah, but I plan on being up at like 6. Get you up at 6. 
I normally wake up at six every day. I'm up at four. Felt weird sleeping in this morning. <sighs> Felt weird for your wife too. That's why she. That's why she stayed home. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh boy. Well, let's see if Jeff is able to, or if Dennis is able to close this one out. So Michelle is trying to figure out a good way to kick at this uh, three ball here. You've got to hit this thing with so much. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's say you're going to have to hit that thing with so much out or inside spin. What is going on with that? Oh, they're hitting the camera. They're leaning on it. Send Austin over there. You want to go over? You want to go over to that first camera and ask him not to be leaning up against it. If you need to, like punch him right in the ribs. Actually, Juan do it. Yeah, that one's cool. no violence. Yeah, no violence. But let it smack down. Juan is on the case. <laughs> no, he's already lost for this weekend. Listen here, you little turd. <laughs> nice cut, Dennis. So, is that, yeah. is that a 10? Um, oh, it's either blue or 10 purple. Or the 12, yeah. 10 or 12. He's going to put that in the, in the side. But he's got to play. He's got to play this with enough stroke to get on the yeah, top side of that table. Yep, anywhere close to that corner, that side pocket. Yeah, Dan, I uh, I uh, told the fellows that I was gonna, I was just gonna shoot singles this week, this this year at least, and uh, help out with the commentary. So, good spot. That, right that's there. what he told the fellows. The fellows told him that. We can find better for our four man. <laughs> Gosh, it's rough up here. <laughs> it is. It tough is. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. I remember watching you last year. I remember how many games you won in your team event. Team event. You did not do very well in the team I, that's event. That's a that is a bona fide lie, Mister. Did you? I didn't think you did well. No, the team event I did really good. No. Uh, the oh, singles, that's right. You did. You went like ten o ten o. You did a couple ten yeah. o's, and that's right. I remember that now. Heard. Wasn't respect. I can R -R -E I can admit when I'm wrong. R E S P E C K. <laughs> All right, got Dennis up here shooting at the 13 ball. He wants to get some separation between those two right there. Perfect. Perfect. And I can't believe your favorite choke and puke is loves. Come on now. What? The, the truck stop? Yeah. That is the cleanest bathrooms ever. I don't care what anybody says. Those have the those are the cleanest bathrooms of any truck stops I've ever been to. And I don't know about buying like random stuff like you're talking about. Like if you want to get a door magnet or something like that, yeah, you might <laughs> might go to Pilot or whatever. <laughs> they got a love from Dayton. It's got a. Freaking Hardy's in it. It's about the only Hardy's we got around. Uh, there's a there's a Hardy's in the one that I stop at. Uh, I want to go to South Bend. I used to get their sausage or their biscuit and sausage gravy. Yeah. 
And for fast food, I thought, man, this is pretty good. Best stuff out of the can. Well, they're biscuits they make every day, but. Do they? Yeah. Like, yeah, they make, Har Har Hardy's makes their biscuits, mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. But, yeah, it ain't like mom made it, but it ain't bad. <laughs> Better than the McDonald's. The old McDonald's? Mm -hmm. All right, Michelle. What do you do here, Steve? What are you thinking? What's your best? What's your best outcome? Do you bank it? Do you cut? Do you play safe? If I had to shoot it, I would bank it because it looks like I don't know. Because you're going to get a lot of kisses off them balls down there. Yeah, but you're going to be on the backside of them coming into them. Uh, if you don't get on the side of it, to me, it looks like it might be on the side of the whatever it is, twelve ball on the leaf. See, nailed it. No, oh, oh my gosh. It looked like it was going straight to the home. Sure did. Son of a gun. All right, Dennis shooting the nine ball into the side here. Draws over for the 11. He's got to make shape one last time for this eight ball. To seal the deal. Dennis got nervous there. Got a little. But that's all right. Dennis is going to go ahead and take his time, get down on the eight ball like he always does. And fires it in. There we and go, ladies and gentlemen. We have the, go ahead. the Masters singles champions. This doesn't turn itself off. Oh. Well, it'll stop eventually. <laughs> um, yeah, Dennis Woolley is the uh, your Indiana State Master Champion. Singles. Singles Champion 2024. Can you, yeah. Uh, he is paying attention. <laughs> so Tina hasn't taken her shot yet. Uh, no, it's Michelle's shot. Oh, it Tina is. just played safe. Oh, okay. Yeah, Deanna, we were playing playing with the buttons and found, found one buttons. found one that was uh Deanna likes the buttons, don't let her lie to you. That really, you know, replicates Steve. No, I wasn't that actually wasn't the right one, but it worked out pretty good. <laughs> Is it this one? There we go. Michelle, she is jumping for the win right there. Jumping for the championship right here, buddy. Oh, she's going to jump. Oh. Yeah. See, I don't understand that jump because I was, like I said, when I played it was scoot. I understand you guys can do it. Oh, oh my. No. God. Oh, that no. sucks. <laughs> wow. Well. Scoop one, a scoop two is on the way. Wow. Man. Out of everything that could have happened right there. And. That's crazy. That's unfortunate. But that's pool, you know what? That I, is pool. I under, and you got to go for it. Like I said, you know what I mean? I go for the win. Yep. I, I'm not going to. I mean, you're not going to lay down, tuck your tail? No. I mean, sometimes you have to. Yeah. I, I get that. Sometimes, like in our game, you know, you just get a bunch of points when you, you can't go for the killer shot. You know what I mean? But when you got your confidence and you do that and then you have a mishap like that, I would have more thought of a scratch. Oh, not speaking a, speaking of, 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 you know, playing darts, now that we have our, our man Austin back over here, Austin, would you like to – I'd like to let this gentleman know how good I actually was at darts. Hey, I tell you what. I wasn't fantastic. The I, man who just chimed in, I tell you what, I'll put 
I'll put 50 bucks on him against you right now. I have never seen, by the way, happy birthday, Mr. Jones. It was your birthday the other day. Um, I'll put 50 bucks on him. He, he's right here in Indy. I can get him to come over. How's he play? He throws one dart and he throws the next one. <laughs> That's how he does it. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll put 50 on his wife against you. <laughs> now you're just being rude. No, she's you're good being too. being mean. She's good too. I don't know, Austin, what was I, what is it, uh, an average? Was that like a three average or less? Probably less. I wasn't or I was? I wasn't. I was higher than that. Oh, that's what I was saying, less, and you're like, no. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't a three average. You were a three average? It wasn't. No, you weren't. I was less. Yeah. Not by much. But Well he's more he's more of a four five to a five average. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. We'll bet whatever you want again on the dartboard and he's gotta bet whatever I want on the pool table. I don't know. He might surprise me. He may be good at pool too. Oh, I'm I'm not saying it's good at all. But I, the very first time I ever threw darts, and that's what my average was. We call that slop. So, what? I'm in for that. Bet. Yeah, see, I figured you might be able to play pool. Yeah, he does play pool, too. <laughs> All right. He got up to check on something, Lee. Lee, he's looking real forward to whooping me tonight in nine ball when all this is over. It's all right. He's uh, he's pretty decent at uh, at pool. But he's not on the masters list. Well, there's some controversy going on down here. What's our next game, Bob? But I am a four plus in, in darts. Well, that's good. I can't. I can throw a four-plus a couple games, but I can't keep that as an average. Yeah, Lee's going to take your bet. Apparently, he's he's good in pool, too. So Lee's going to take my bet? Yeah, and whatever you want to bet in darts and whatever you want to bet in pool. He said he'll take that bet. What's what's he in pool? Does he play pool leagues? Or? I don't know. He said he's played it before, maybe once or twice. He's here in Indy. He might, he might learn teach you how to hustle a little bit. All right, so now we have a rematch or the first dip of the chi – er, yeah, I don't even want to say First scoop of the double dip. I know. I don't even want to say it because that was a heck of a way to lose that game. Oh, yeah. But got to regroup. Here we go. Yep. Looks like Michelle's going to come out with the, uh, with the break. Okay, <laughs> chat. That is one thing I will say. Um, Lee, if you've never been in this state tournament, there's a lot of people up here that will gamble on flipping coins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I've been down in Cincinnati and watched people flip for $5,000. It's crazy. It's They bet on everything here at this game. <laughs> he's not a league player, but he's a casual player. There you go. I don't know. I might. 
I might take that chance. You can't beat him in his town, though, because then you'll be in trouble. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. No, Lee's a great guy. Have the fuzz out at me? No. <laughs> Dry break by Michelle. Yeah, she's going to have to regroup. There's a couple things not going her way here the last few minutes. Yeah. Tina definitely would like a run out here, get up one game. Most definitely. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going 15 next. 15 has to go up top. Top left. Did it sneak through the one up there? I guess so. She's not even taking a look at it. So it must slide right through. Must have a better angle on it than I saw. Yeah. So do you cut the 10 or do you run? You play, the for, play for the 11. Or run the 11 up. Yeah. yeah. back here. Yeah. She's the lead singer of the church choir. Yeah. <laughs> sure she is. <laughs> All right. Nicely done. Just about where she wanted to leave it on the 14. Yeah, she's definitely playing for the 14. Uh, she might not have gotten there completely. Yeah, she slammed the chalk down like she can't get past the three. Or get past the three the way she wants to for the cut. Yeah. I believe the 10 goes, but then it's trying to hold the cue ball to still make the 14, so. She's playing for the bank here. It's one of those uh, not 50-50 chance in here. You're just playing for the win. Oh, she's going to get roll. She's going to get a slight Slight roll. So Michelle's going to come to the table. Chances are she's going to be playing, playing the four, I would believe. I'm going to have a couple shots after this to choose from. Oh, miss it. Ouch. You're going to have to regroup there a little bit. Yeah. Seems like she's getting, let things get to her. Not that that was a hard shot, but it wasn't an easy shot. I've seen her make harder ones in this. Oh, 100%. Part. Yeah, definitely. Just playing inside English. So that way the cue ball is going to come back towards the center of the table. Came up a little short. She might be able to play it. Yeah, it looks like she's playing up up past the eight ball instead of cutting it back the other way.
shot there. Now what do you do with the eight ball? Um, that's rough. Uh, I would be probably trying to play for the cut because the bank's not there because the six ball is basically right where you're trying to hit. Maybe go um, the other way. Yeah. yeah, the three ball blocks. Blocks it. Yep. Yeah. So you've you've got to play for the cut. Cut it all day, yep. Keith Miller says. Just put enough put enough outside English on it so that way it's gonna grab to that rail and try to shoot more towards the first to middle diamond on that on that long rail or the short rail. <coughs> and with putting outside English on that, it's also gonna help throw it into the All right, it's going to bring inside to throw it in. Hold on, now you got me thinking. They're going to need to keep this manned if they want me to answer questions up here. <laughs> oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well. How much of a lane does she have? What's that? Does she have? I it looks to me like she does, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, she's got to spin around it just a little bit. No. Oh. It looks clean as a whistle to me, but you're right. The way she's queuing up that ball. She's got to be careful, though. You go and start mass aiming shots. Yeah, she's she's thinking the rail first, but I think it's pretty steep to come across the face. She's definitely gonna go real first. Yeah. But ties up the seven, so I think the best thing here for Michelle would be trying to oh definitely yeah for sure uh, I would try to be breaking no I'd probably try getting getting some cube getting some object balls off the table here just to kind of yeah but well right now she's got the pockets tied up which takes more of the more of the I'm I'm still shooting. The, I'm trying to shoot the one. Okay, I thought you. Wait. No, not the four. Definitely yeah. not the four. Possibly the, f if I if anything, possibly the six or one, or I'm trying to play the five. To play the combo and uh, shows you what we know. We're playing for the run out. I mean, she could call safe right here and just leave her stuck right behind the three ball. Looks like she's queuing down on it, so to come back. Let's 
So is she playing the six or is she playing the combo? Six for the possible breakout, but she's calling the, the bottom corner pocket, it looked like. There you go, good shot. Good shot from Michelle there. Here's another here's another possible uh, safety here to play the R right side of the two ball. Try to come up and tuck behind the seven. Tuck behind a seven. Yeah, I see yep. that. One long rail to a short rail on yes, the sir. seven. See, look yes, at sir. that. Yes, wow, I sound like I knew what I was doing. Mark, mark, mark. But we all know that's a lie. Um, but like I said, here's she's running she's running it out. That's what she's going for. She's going for the game. Might be a safety later, but right now, ah, uh, it's. I think she's gonna. She's playing. What looks to be just a little bit of top right. Looks like she's gonna try for the breakout right here. Yep, and uh, achieved it. If she can see that seven. She can make it. Looks like the cute, or looks like the uh, the sevens about a, an object ball's width out of the pocket, past the point, I should say. It might not be bad time right here to kind of lay up for a for a safe. Um, but she's she's playing for she's playing for the win. She takes the more offensive shot right here. If it's if it's me, first I'd have to find out if it's a race to two or three. But I would be trying to just skim past the two and put the cue ball back down back down towards the uh, the bottom rail. Little two way shot. Not bad. Sweepy. Mm -hmm. I told you it was. So Tina's going to go ahead and try to cut this ball into the corner pocket right here. And she nails it. and hop on so you can get some sleep. Oh, I thought you said you weren't going to let me go to sleep. Oh, I mean, I'm not trying to be that guy. Mm. <laughs> Dayton, come over here. I can get up and at least stretch. There you go. Smallies? Deanna, I'm not trying to let him go to sleep by any means, but he's over here getting them heavy eyes. What do you say? Try not to fall asleep. He didn't say that. What do you say? Try not to fall asleep. Oh. All right, we got my buddy Austin back. So, how'd you guys' uh, how'd you guys' first match go? Mm. Let's just say we've had better days in the past. Understandable. Understandable. So, what time do you guys play tomorrow? I think ten. Ten. I probably should be going getting some shut eye, but I'm good. I'm ten good. Ten o'clock. You got plenty of time to not be sleeping right now. <laughs> you and I are getting up at 6.30. Freaking, we're going to go to that buffet, the breakfast buffet, and work out. I mean, we can do that. 
Are we doing that before or after we destroy that buffet? <laughs> uh, probably before would be. Uh, yeah, but if, best, we say we're gonna do it, if we say if we say we're going to do it after, I'm going to be stuffed, and I ain't gonna, I'm going to be able to walk like ten exactly. feet. And I'm gonna, and then you're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to go work out. Yep. See that guy right there? I, d I do see him. It looks like he's lost. Might want to keep your kids away. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Bill. <coughs> Dennis Wally, Dennis right? Wally did, yeah. So Jeff and the sister. I thought Dennis won too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Jeff didn't win. Yeah, Jeff did win. No. Huh? No, I mean, Dennis won. Yeah. He came back and he cut the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because Jeff, uh, actually the first match. Jeff won. Jeff won. And the, then yeah. Dennis won. Dennis doubled. Because Dennis, Dennis got the, the second. Yep. No, Dennis won't let that happen. Huh? Yeah. Dennis won't let that happen. <laughs> That was a nice little breakout. I don't know that it really needed to be done, though. But hey. Deanna, are you still uh, driving up tonight, or are you still dri are you going to be driving up tomorrow? Don't let him go to sleep. Yeah, he's soft. He's he's built different. We'll just get him some Red Bulls. Oh, so you are still coming up tomorrow? Okay. So we might be able to let him go to sleep. I think if you were still driving up tonight, because we, we knew at, like, 10 o'clock you were driving up. We thought you we were driving up. Do you uh, think these girls are, like, feeling a little bit of pressure? Because, like, on that last game, I'm kind of surprised Michelle didn't get a bridge out for her last shot. Uh, when, then, she, when she like, tried uh, to cut that? Yeah. And then Tina just, like, kind of quick shot that, maybe. Yeah. I got you, Deanna. That's all good. We got we got all day tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, so. Nice little all right. out there. That brings Tina up to two. Two to nothing right now. Michelle's definitely going to have to do something here. <coughs> you sleeping over there? You sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> you have a bush outside to fall in. I'm going to have to ask Steve about that one. <laughs> Steve, Deanna says that she has a bush outside she needs to fall into. Oh, you weren't even at a dart tournament? It was, or? it was at a dart tournament, but it wasn't this dart tournament. Oh. It wasn't the last one. That was a nice break right there. Very nice. I would almost take salads, though. Uh, salads is definitely the better better choice here. Um, possibly starting off with three. Um, biggest thing is getting the four ball. Hey, you know that's two zip, right? Jeez, I'm rice. <laughs> we need to know. We need a new IT guy. That's that's why I was patting his arm. Like, hey, get that changed, buddy. Get us a new IT guy. So if there's anybody out here, out there in the world of uh, the streams. Wants to be our new IT guy, send the email out to uh, Steve Needs New Help at gmail.com. <laughs> no. Steve said somebody's coming tomorrow to help us out with that. Might be able to send send Juan packing down the streets. <laughs> Singing do I did he diddy dum diddy do. All right, Michelle. With her opening shot, looks like she's going to try to take that two ball. So, 
I wasn't here. Did he like his tamale? He said it was different. But it wasn't bad. Yeah, that's what that's what Steve was saying, Deanna. You know? You're gonna come over here, you're gonna take take old Juan and hip toss his ass. <laughs> Give him the old yeet. All right, Michelle went ahead and opened herself up, starting off with the solids. She's going to go ahead and get that four ball out of the way because that four ball is blocking the pocket that she is needing. A little top right and come between the nine and the 15. Oh, no. Um, I was thinking about playing top left, yeah, come left. back towards the three. Yeah, that's split the 15 and the nine. I said that wrong. <laughs> but that makes the, makes the eight ball a lot more... Simple. Shootable, yeah. So she's got the seven or the six right here, but I, I think the seven's think, probably the better choice right yeah, now. Yeah, especially with give you the angle and come back out. And for with the her others. confidence, she's shooting at the six, but she needs to make sure she hits this good. She did. All right. I possibly would be plucking the three ball right here. Come one and hopefully don't get stuck behind them two balls over there. Yeah, but you're playing, uh, yeah, you're pretty pretty steep in the angle. You might want to be like an extra inch or two down towards the, towards the seven to play the three. I almost think she's playing the seven here on the side, then the yeah. one, and then the three. Yeah, the eight ball goes in the side pocket, no problem. <coughs> no, I, uh, so I had a 10 5 my first game. Yeah. A 10 won my second game. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I guess I can look it up. I think, uh, I think I lost my third game. And then Ooh. my fourth game was a 10 5. Nice. I made, left myself horribly on that last game and uh, ended up jumping a ball and making it and then went for another jump and missed that one. Hmm. And then uh, made a crazy bank on an eight ball. There you go. How's the rest of the team shooting? Mm -hmm. They're not they're up okay. to par. They're okay. We'll get there. They just need some rest, and we'll see. It's yeah. just fun. Yeah. So Michelle's over here looking at uh, the angle that she's needing and the spot she's wanting to stop or fall into. When are you guys starting tomorrow? When are you guys starting this tomorrow? Eight, probably. Should be around eight or so. Eight, eight thirty. <laughs> what do you say, ten? <laughs> ten. He's got to get it. Juan's, Juan's got to get his beauty sleep. I think I can pull. <laughs> I can pull off some of this stuff. You just, you just let me know how to get in here. I could, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I can make, I can make way around a, a, a gaming computer. Ooh. I should be able to figure this stuff out, right? Well, man, <laughs> that scratch might have, uh, <laughs> might have um, been the last little bit. Yeah. Although, I mean, well, yeah, you pretty much have to take that ball first. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, you got ball in hand. You got to take your take your biggest problem ball out. And she's got no clusters. Uh, everything else goes. It's just making sure she plays up far enough so that way she can either take the 13 or the 10 ball down there. But Yeah, Keith, eh. I, I, I agree about 90... 98% right here. Hey, we'll, we'll see, though. Yeah. I mean, 
even and I mean pros, usually pros usually pros not miss. masters or pros whatever you want to call yeah. them but they miss yeah they get out of shape they get they get in the wrong spot they get blocked you know hooked whatever put in jail so but either either way whoever you're rooting for you're always you're always wanting a good match yeah you might want somebody to run out every once in a while but you know what those safety battles those were those are what make pool great too You just don't want to see a bunch of me's out there missing balls and shooting them straight in the rails. <laughs> <clears throat> Tina's out there chasing her chalk. That's the be that's the worst thing about the freaking Tem pyros, the, the, the tams, uh, any of that stuff. The white shark. I tell you what, though, that stuff is worth the money. It is. It is. Right. And just so you guys know, chalk is not free. Ah, jeez, ow. <laughs> Man, unless you're yanking it off the table from somebody else. I'll take this 10 ball right here. Very a little, nice. A little bit of a love love kiss off that 9 ball. Play the, ten, play the 9, play the 15, play the 12. Probably the 8 right where she put the 9. Put the 9, yep, that's what I would assume. Take the 15, play it up, one rail, come out, possibly put the 12 in the side pocket. Yep. At least that's the way I would play it. I definitely won't leave it to shoot it down in the corner. No. And I'm definitely not trying to play, play All the anything way back too crazy out to come back around. And that's what she's looking at. But if Tina's in stroke and she's she's been shooting really good. If she's feeling comfortable enough, you know what? Let that stroke fly. Yeah, she's playing top left. She's going to come around two rails. Dude. Even if she runs into it, yeah. that's that's okay. She just didn't want to she just didn't want to clip. Yeah. She'd rather hit that thing, you know, hit hit it full than slide in one way or the other. So, looks like Tina's going to go ahead and this might differ the pocket though. Depending on, oh, good shot. There we go. Tina's calling her pocket. Last, uh, possibly last shot of the night. The night here. All right, Tina's drawing back. That is it, folks. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and shut the stream down here pretty soon. Um, what time are we starting back up tomorrow? And congrats to Tina and Eight uh, or 8 30? Okay. Dennis Woolley on yep. their uh, championships. Tina Larson, Dennis Woolley for the Masters champions. Um, <coughs> tomorrow morning we do plan on firing everything up and having everything going by 8, 8.30. Um, it's going to start the uh, winner's side, the A side of the of the – uh, open B team, and then uh, we'll get through, get some, get some open A's or the A team, and master masters. teams, the women's masters, and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, like I said, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share, get everything going. Uh, we're gonna get this thing fired up tomorrow, and uh, get some, get some good pool action for you guys. So, uh, until tomorrow, we'll see you guys. <laughs>